So in this example, we've got the volume of our cylinder is 84 cubic um, inches. The radius is 7 over 11 inches. And pi is approximated as 22 over 7. And just really quick, I'm just going to show that really quick again, that on a calculator, if you hit pi, it's actually an irrational number. It's a, it's a decimal that goes on forever with no pattern, 3.14159264. But we can approximate it with this fraction, 22 over 7, which is 3.1428. So it's not correct. It's wrong. 22 over 7 is incorrect. But it's a decent fraction approximation. And I mean, for a lot of applications in the real world, it's going to work just fine. So, um, and again, we're finding the, we've got a formula for the volume of a cylinder, which is like a pipe or a tube or whatever. And it has this circular base and the area of the base is pi r squared. And if you then take that area of the base and multiply it by the height, just stretch it out, then that's what gives you the volume, right? So this is 84 equals pi which is 22 over 7, times r squared, 7 over 11 squared, times h, and we don't have h yet, right? r squared, though, it's important to do this. Put it in parentheses and put a squared around it. And our first kind of math trick here is to make sure to write 7 over 11 squared like this, 7 over 11 times 7 over 11. So let's write that down because that's going to help us. And then we'll just fill it in. It's H here, and we've got uh, 22 over 7, and we got 84. Okay, with that. And now we should be able to do a little bit of cross-canceling, right? So 7 into 7, right? And what else can we cross-cancel? Uh, 11 and 22. Yep, 11 to 11 goes once, 11 to 22, twice. twice. So we have 84 on the left equals, and then on the right we have, everything is cross-canceled that can be, so if 2 times 1 times 7 on the top, so that's 14. 14 over 11. Over, yeah, and on the bottom, 1 times 1 times 11, 11. H. Yep. Now, what we want to do is get 1H, 1 times H, because if we get a 1 times H, that's just H. So we want to turn this 14 over 11 into a 1. So to un basically undoing multiplying by 14 over 11 is you multiply by the reciprocal. So try to figure out the reciprocal of 14 over 11. Or in other words, just flip it upside down and what do you get? 11 over 14. Right. If we do that, that's great because the 14s will cross cancel, the 11s will cross cancel, and I'll get 1H on the right, or just H, which is what we're looking for, right? Because we want to solve for H. Now, if I, but what I did was I multiplied by 11 over 14 on the right side of the equation. So on the left side of the equation, I need to multiply by 11 over 14. 11 over 14 also, correct. And it'd be nice to turn this 84 into a fraction. What's 84 as a fraction? Over 1. Over 1, lovely. And you might know your 14 times tables, or you might know your 2s at least. Let's just divide top and bottom by 2, because 2 into 14 goes 7 times. Seven. 2 into 8 goes 4 times. 2 into 4 goes 2 twice. No, 42. Oh, that's handy because now 7 goes into 42, doesn't it? Six times. Lovely. 7 to 7 once, 7 into 42, 6. So on this guy, I've got 6 times 11 over 1 times 1. So just 66. And that's uh, inches, by the way. 
height is 66 inches. So given our volume of 84 cubic inches, a radius of 711 inches, approximating pi 22 over 7, we find that the height of our cylinder is 66 inches, right? Correct. 